Hello everyone, Scoops here, another episode of Memoria. Uh, in the last episode we found our way here, I believe it, it this is Draconia, um, the, our destination. So we ended up here, yeah, and this gentleman's talking to us, we just kind of walked in the door. Is this Draconia? Yes, the Council of the Elements in Draconia. You require the services of an elementalist? Uh, probably not. My name is Sadia. I come from Fazar. Fazar? A long way. Did you come the whole way on foot? Yes. Cool. I'm here to join the Holy Army. I want to fight in the Gore. I'm afraid I have nothing to do with that. Let me know if you learn any more about him. What can you do? Can you fight? Use magic? I'm looking for a prince. I'm supposed to give him this mask. That's is. Take her to the prince. But I'd rather... At once. Would <laughs> follow me? I must admit we are a bit... Uh, how shall I put it? Surprised by your arrival. Not many people stray here. To be honest, it's also a blessing for me. The Admiral is beginning to get on my nerves. This place is Did beautiful. Did you know that Draconia was built by dragons? All the wonders of this world in one place. And behind every passageway lies a new surprise. And that man wants us to drop everything and fight in his ridiculous little war. Can you imagine it? The nerve. May I ask what's so special about this mask? Um... I don't know. We'll say this. It once belonged to a powerful mogul mage. Ah, the moguls. Unpleasant fellows. Fortunately, they are from another age than ours. Ah, time. Isn't time an astonishing thing? Tis. At first glance, everything in Draconia seems so gigantic, and we seem so small. But that is nothing in comparison to the monumental size of the time which slumbers in these halls. According to our understanding, this is the oldest structure in Aventuria. Almost as old as time itself. I hope you have healthy lungs. This stairway is horrible. <laughs> I do. Thanks for asking. And here's another ancient wonder that leaves us absolutely awestruck. A star system, but fascinatingly, not our own. Who built it? And why? Does it show the past? Or a distant future? I propose that it shows both. I propose that it shows nothing! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm always yelling things. Can't get a word in otherwise. And another staircase. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, a garden. <gasps> the staff. Ah, the zucchini. I love zucchini. Why is Draconia so empty? I thought you were about to go to war. Where's the army? Wrong. We, that is the council, have decided to stay out of this war. We're being pressured to change our minds, but as long as the balance of the spheres isn't disturbed, we see no reason to do so. Blast it. Does that mean there's no army here? Yes, there is. Over there. <laughs> Across the mountains. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> the flying fortress Keshal Ri. A masterpiece of elemental air magic. That's pretty intense. A floating city. Floating fortress. Do you have any more questions before I take you to the prince? Oh, yeah, might as well. Who is the prince? The fortress is carried by hundreds upon hundreds of air spirits bound in special crystals, so called floating stones. The prince is a master of domination magic. He ensures that the spirits remain in the stones and do what is asked of them. But why a prince? As Admiral Vahim always puts it so nicely, in times like these, one takes what one can get. <laughs> the Holy Army is in the fortress? Yes, 
An entire army of clerics. A second army is currently marching from Zorgan to Gore. In three days, the two forces will meet right before the plateau and enter the battle together. All that effort just to die. Tragic. Indeed. What's wrong with your legs? I was born with very weak legs. So weak that they didn't grow with the rest of my body. Since then, an air spirit has carried me through life. And oh, no wonder they have so many stairs. You can just float up. Bastard. Take me to the fortress. I must see this prince. Ooh, am I going to fly? And once again, you draw hasty, false conclusions. The prince is no longer in the fortress, but rather here in this hole. Take my hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, please show it. Yes. <laughs> And he's bound and chained. <laughs> right. There we are. <laughs> I lured you into a pretty trap, eh? Yes. The prince is a prisoner. And yes, you played into his hands. Okay. Do you have anything to say in your defense? What is going on? <laughs> what did he do? He tampered with the floating stones of the flying fortress. He is evil. And thus we've taken him prisoner. You don't know anything about this? Negative. This room is a prison? Draconia has no dungeon, so we had to do a bit of thinking. We're directly above the sphere's observatory here. The magic of the observatory keeps the matrix of this room stable, which makes it impossible to do magic here. You understand the principle? No. Well, it's really quite simple. Well, good for you. What does the prince want with the mask? Who knows? I didn't even know until now that such an artifact existed. All right. Innocence. Let me go. I brought the mask here under a misunderstanding. I'm innocent. I know. On the way up here, I cast a few spells <laughs> on you. I know that you mean no evil. Well, then? Hmm. Before I let you go, give me the mask, your staff, and the dagger. It can be no other way. Weird. Huh. Okay, so I guess I gotta give all these things to him. So where's the staff? Now, all that's missing is the dagger and the mask. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of stuck here otherwise, so it's all yours, buddy. And now the dagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. All right. Hooray! So, sir, tell me about yourself. Whoever you are, thank you for bringing it here. Had I known you were behind this, I would have thought twice about it. Hello, Kasim. Ooh. It's me, Sadia. Sadia? <laughs> Sadia. That's rude. How long has it been? Since you had me thrown out of the palace? Long enough to leave those times behind me. As if anything has changed since then. I'm still the sole heir of the Mogul dynasty. And you, you're nothing. Well. That's where you're mistaken. I'll go into battle against the demon hordes, and I will triumph. All of Avastan will know my name, and everyone will fall to their knees before me in awe. <laughs> you really believe that? You can't change who you are, Sadia. You'll always be the same person you always were. Second class. Insignificant. Oh. My name, on the other hand, my name will be Immortal. Kind of wish I had still my dagger, to be honest. Take my Kill this bastard. I'll take you to a more comfortable place. Yes, please. <laughs> Get How me out of here. Knew each other. He is a prince. She's a princess. Maybe they're siblings. What I find much more puzzling is how the mage knew about their conversation. He wasn't there. And yet it's written in his journal. Keep reading. <laughs> I took the woman to her chamber. It was obvious that she knew the prince. Yet I still Sorry. couldn't find any malevolence in her. In order to keep an eye on her, I commanded one of my invisible air spirits to continue watching her. Oh, uh, okay. That's the plot. I'll leave you alone now. Get some rest. 
You'll need your strength tomorrow when we send you home. I didn't come here only to be sent back. You were the instrument of a traitor. I doubt Admiral Vahim's going to welcome such a person to his fortress. Let me talk to him. There's water on the table. I'll have fresh vegetables brought to you soon. Ooh. We'll meet again at dawn. Good night. If you won't talk to the Admiral, then I'll do it myself. And please stay in your room. No. Nah. Being kind. Oh, very nice. Okay, so what are my options here? Uh, the bed? Never. I'm tired. But if I fall asleep, they'll take me back to Fazar at dawn. That must not happen. Uh, the plant? It feels like wax. Can I take it? I traveled the Rashtulian Wall, so I've already seen more than enough <laughs> plants. I'm not saying you have to really admire the plant. How? They locked me up in here. Fair enough. All right. Um. I must join the battle. Let me talk to the Admiral. I'm truly sorry, but no. And now, please go back and sleep. <gasps> oh, oh. He sent me back. He made me fly away. All right, this plant is swaying now. The leaves are swaying in the wind, but there's no wind here. <gasps> it's an air spirit. Yep, knew it. Well, hello there. Hey, you. You're an air spirit, aren't you? Um... Talk, talk to me? Talk to me. Why are you here? Oh. <laughs> was, that a, was that a good thing or bad? Um, play with me. Let's play. Um, let's play hide and seek? Let's play hide and seek. Okay, he likes it a bit more. Um, you hide. Ooh, you hide me from the magicians. Ooh, can we'll you do both that? Hide from the mages. Hmm. What shall we do? <laughs> find us right away in this room. Maybe if you just let me fly away. <gasps> uh. Whoa. Okay. Guest room. Observatory. Onto the roof. Right window. Left window. Question mark. This looks more intriguing. <laughs> okay. Is that her? Oh. Yes. But what is she doing here? Admiral? I thought the evil mage had locked you up in his tower. Yes. But I jumped out of the window. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Eh, Wahim? Take me with you to the battle. I won't disappoint you. And she has courage. Yes, but no weapon. Besides, she almost played into Kasim's hands. I think it's too risky. Um, yeah. I didn't know about the prince's plan. I heard. But how do I know that you won't unknowingly aid him again? As long as we don't know his plans, I won't take any further risks. Fair enough. What sort of weapon do I need in order to come with you? We're fighting against demons, so something blessed would be good. Bring me some kind of weapon and my companion will take care of the blessing. He is a deont. <laughs> deont would be more like it. Ariarchos, please. <laughs> um, in the battle? Nope, yep. What do you know about the battle? It is said that the demon lord Borborad is planning an invasion of the damned in the Gorian Desert, and Rohal the Wise will oppose him. Rohal's troops have been preparing for the big day for months in Zorgan. Meanwhile, more and more demon scum are forcing their way out of Borborad's portal into the Gorian Desert. A lot of effort for a slaughter that will only last a few hours. However it may end, it will change Aventuria forever. 
Ooh, that's pretty heavy. Um, flying fortress. Why a flying fortress? No matter what, we must prevent the plague of demons from spreading. That's why we're carrying the battle directly to Borbarad's door. No living thing has ever faced so many creatures from the nether hells as we will in three days' time. You should know, demons are tough, nearly invincible. One must lure them onto sacred ground in order to defeat them. And since we can't do that, we'll bring the sacred ground to them. Keshal Ri is a monumental floating temple built to carry the light of the gods into the middle of the armies of darkness. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Um, all right, demon army. What will it be like to fight against demons? Horrible. There's nothing more terrible than being exposed to the madness of such a creature. They don't act or think as we do. Their bodies are not made of flesh and blood, and they're almost invulnerable to common magic. How does one kill something like that? With blessed weapons. A lot of luck, courage, and a gigantic flying fortress. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Why are you anchored outside Draconia? The air elementalists helped us build Keshal Ri. We had hoped they would continue to support us. But they're only interested in elements and the harmonies of the spheres, not in politics, no matter how bloody. The Council will merely send a group of observers on board, but no more than that. Good. Then there'll be someone who can tell the world about me. <laughs> That would be much too selfless for that bunch. The Elementalists have long planned to withdraw from the fate of the world. They expect that the battle will make this decision easier for them. In other words, they hope it'll be so disgustingly bloody that they'll never have to leave their little ivory tower again. If that ivory tower still exists at that point. All right, that's I'll it. Be back soon. So what do we really need to do? Underground vault, seal. This is like a big ass area and I don't quite understand what I should do. It's oddly warm, just like everything down here. Huh. Um, probably not up to the Dragon Hall. Imagine I'll get caught and sent back there. The river's course, perhaps? Uh, I guess I could just start going to these places. What is there really to do though? I'm not sure. Tea table, broom. In the meantime, I learned to fly without one. <laughs> Very no good. No time for idle recreation. So what am I here for? Oh. Now, where shall I put it? In the stove. <laughs> What's the point of that? It's filled with water. Xerxes. What? Oh, I got kicked out. The hell am I supposed to do? Okay, so very confusing. Oh, right window. Xerxes. Oh, I just saw my staff out there. Huh. Can I just go back in there, or will it be like Xerxes? Okay, hold on. I see my dagger on his. Now, where shall I put it? Oh, maybe. Is he getting up? Yes! Okay, I got my dagger. That was lucky. I also noticed my staff. Can I go grab that? Xerxes. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, so do I have my dagger? I do. Huh, I wonder if I can just go quickly run into it? Probably not. No, I don't think I could. Huh. Even though, you know, <laughs> the staff was kind of a... Actually, I guess I was more of a jerk to the staff than anything else. Um, let's check out the observatory, I suppose. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Let's try these horns. <laughs> mm, the horns can be turned. Can I the turn it? The horns can't be turned towards each other. The horns can't... Three horns on a platform. War is raging outside, and the mages are listening to the spheres. But if the demons win, there'll be nothing left to listen to. 
So what are what spheres? What kind of sound is that? I've never heard anything like it. I'm very confused. Um. What kind of sound is that? I've never heard. They appear to be floating. It does appear that way. So wait, hold on. I can't really can do anything here, the can I? The can't be turned to. Oh, am I? Oh. Three horn wars, but if the. Oh, so I can move these. Um, what's the point? I'm not sure. What is that? It sounds like a whisper. Can I listen to it? What kind of? S I've never. Hmm. This is all very confusing. The whisper is getting louder. Ooh, maybe this one right up here? You must find the garden. <gasps> the name is in the garden. And without the name, the mask is worthless. I know, but where shall I begin? No one here knows where it is. Let alone whether it even exists. It does exist. But to find it, you need the mask. I'm so close. While the most powerful men in Avistan smash heads in the Gorian Desert, I'll restore the realm of my fathers, and there will be no one left to stand in my way. Is this the same garden the staff spoke of? What is Kasim planning? Ooh, achievement. Okay, maybe that's all I need, really. I can get onto the roof, yeah. That's kind of all I, I can't imagine going into the main hall is a good idea. Huh, okay, so what do I know now? I know now the prince... Was, Kasim is the prince, right? Yeah, he... Has some planned. I should probably go get the staff again, because obviously that was a good idea. He knew what was going on. Ugh, yawning again. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe you can bless this. Wait, you. Bless my dagger. <laughs> bless this weapon for me. I don't know if a dagger is a good weapon to have. Simple dagger. I'm fast and agile with it. It has done me loyal service. That's enough for me. However, the blessing will take some time. Pick it up from me later. Okay. Should I go sleep now, maybe? There are okay. seven rooms. Oops. Oh, the prince's plan. I eavesdropped on the prince. He's looking for some garden. He wants to use it to seize power after the battle. Surely not the Garden of Oblivion. You know something about it? Well, yes. It's just a legend, but they say there's a hidden cave somewhere in the Rashtulian Wall, near the volcano Rashtul Kancharot. The cave bears the name the Garden of Oblivion. Because everything that takes place there is forgotten by time itself. Whatever that means. Does the legend also mention a mask? Yes. There was something about that. But I'd have to do some research to be sure. That doesn't sound like something I need to concern myself with. If Kasim's attention is really on a cave in the Rashtulian Wall and not on the battle, then he's no longer my problem. So we can safely turn our attention towards our actual goal. The Garden of Oblivion? Have you ever heard of that? No, never. But this story gets stranger from page to page. I may be mistaken, but something about this garden feels wrong. I can't say what just yet. Keep reading. Admiral Joachim turned a deaf ear to every warning, but I felt the danger emanating from this garden. The girl, on the other hand, had tasted blood. I think she imagined the garden was something that could help her achieve her ambitions. Only she didn't know precisely how. Well, are you taking me with you, or not? I don't know what you think, Wahim, but I like her. All right then, we set sail at dawn. Rest until then. The courts in Keshal Ri are far less comfortable than those here. Uh-oh. <clears throat> You've come just in time, Xerxes. The girl has just joined our army, which, in my eyes, makes her a good bit more sensible than your entire council. Hmm. All right. 
If you vouch for her, as long as she doesn't hurl us all into disaster, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Time to piss off that priest dude. He didn't like that at all. Quite right. Well, back to the fortress for me. Here's to a glorious battle, you two. I'm going to look round the library a bit. The talk of this garden of oblivion has made me curious. Okay. Oh, here we go. Where can I go here? The main hall, dark corner. That seems suspicious. Oh man, do I really have to watch myself walk all the way here? Oh god, that's so far. Like something evil lives there. What's that? In the center of the darkness, there's a pedestal. And on top of that, feels like a lamp. I'll take it. A lamp? In darkness? Whoa, weird. <sighs> Did the darkness come from the lamp then? That's really strange. Um, huh. Where should I go now? Um, yeah. Let's go to the main hall. Up to the observ- No, where are you going that way for? Main hall. There we go. Cause I've been there. I've been up to the observatory. So yeah, this is kind of the only place I haven't been. Can't imagine these dragons have much to do with anything either. My god, they walk so slow. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, there we go. Uh, the ore labor laboratory? Question mark, question mark. Guest room. Let's go here. <laughs> I like mysterious places. This is all very cool. I kind of This is one of those places you wish you could kind of go to, right? Like, look at this. It's massive. Big stone fortress. Um, ornament? It's only a part of the seal. Something's still missing. Hmm. Uh, well, there's the lake. The f I weird... I feel a rhythm. Like a heartbeat. <laughs> weird, like, kind of... Hey! Hey! <laughs> Stained glass window. Behind it, I can see the shape of a large statue. All right, so there's nothing really here. Maybe up, up over yonder. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I can't stop yawning. I'm not even particularly tired. Can't help it. Whoa, okay. A statue, dude, over here. Oh, it's another big ass place. Goodness gracious. It's ice cold. It's shiny and clean. Just a moment. There's an odd indentation. Oh, is that like the other half of the I seal? See water on the other side. Can I... Well, I guess I can't really do anything to it, can I? That won't get me anywhere. Hmm... Darkness? That won't get me any. There's an odd indentation. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like the other half of like the sigil down below. Alright, let's go check this guy out. I saw books starting to fly right before I went there. <laughs> you are going to the reading room, right? Oh. You can go both ways. This is a very confusing place. Oh, man! <laughs> It's embarrassing. Whoa, check it out, the books. All right. A rune. All right. Dude, what's up? The ice gin in these halls has shown me the way to an ancient text. It's one of the few in which the Garden of Oblivion is mentioned. And? It's a travel log by a mage named Harlef ben Jalif. He was a servant of one of the Mughal mages and sent out to find the garden. Which mogul mage? The last of the moguls, Malaka. Ah, Unfortunately, yeah. he never found the garden. And fearing punishment, he began to hide from his master's lackeys. He feared that if he were found, they would, here I quote, first place the mask on me, 
and then transform me into a lifeless artifact. What sort of artifact? Who knows? Perhaps a ring, or a bracelet. Or a staff? <laughs> Those old moguls really knew how to ruin someone's life. <laughs> what was his name again? He was called Halef Ben Jalif. I wonder if they ever caught him. Interesting. Okay, so... What I've gathered so far is that... Obviously the mask can erase someone's memories, as we discovered a few episodes ago. And the staff kind of forgot, lost its memories too. So I'm guessing maybe... Hmm. But also, going back to even the first episode, the traveling merchant, the whole reason why you're talking to him is that he can transform things, right? You can transform your uh, little raven friend and back into a fairy. So I'm thinking maybe the staff used to be a person. Maybe. But it got transformed. I feel like there's there's a pretty big connection there. I'm curious to see how it ends up. All right, here we go. What else do you know about Ben Jalif? Not much. He was given the mask and sent out to find the garden. That's all it says here. Okay. What does the log say about the garden? It says that some sort of magic word is buried in the garden. A word that will awaken the true power of Malakar's mask. And that three secret chambers will point the way there. The rest is just incoherent nonsense. Are you sure? Yes. The search for the garden must have gone to Jalif's head. He babbles that the place was created by an ancient entity. A servant of time. And that Satinav, the lord of time, separated the garden from our spheres. So that nothing that happens in the garden would have consequences for our reality. Then there's something about lies that become truth, and, and a hole in the Book of Time. Obviously the inventions of a half-wit. I don't know about that. Three chambers show the way? Yes, their entrances are located somewhere in Draconia. Keep an eye out for this symbol. Whoa. You can have the pages, if you like. Thank you. It's a big-ass kind of lizard eye. <laughs> However, to open the chambers, you need to have the mask with you. Until you have the mask, there's no point in searching for the chambers. Are you inciting me to steal? <laughs> I'm only here to pass on knowledge. What you do with it is your business, and yours alone. <laughs> All right, keep going. The garden was created by a servant of time? Correct. They say this servant sleeps in the three chambers and waits for a mage to wake him. Does it have to be a mage? Yes. Only the presence of magic will disturb his sleep. Okay, Satinav. Who is Satinav? Satinav is the guardian of time. He watches over the Book of Time and makes sure that no one disturbs or changes the things written there. Has anyone ever seen him? No, he's only a legend. And the true power of the mask. There's a spell buried in the garden which will waken the true power of the mask? What is its true power? It says here that the mask presents its bearer with a choice. He either decides for sweet oblivion or to undo things which once happened, as if they never came to pass. That sounds very powerful. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes it does. More than a few would murder for such power. Huh. That's enough for now. I guess that's it for now, then. No, I find it curious that you've never heard anything about this at all. I noticed your tattoo. You're a descendant of Malachi yourself. Ooh. You? Have you learned nothing from your forefathers? No, I'm hearing about all this for the first time. And our prince, above the observatory. He's your brother, isn't <gasps> he? Maybe. I just wonder <laughs> what drives you. An uncanny determination glues in your eyes. Either you'll achieve the impossible, or you'll descend into the deepest madness. I won't be stopped. I only want to warn you. Please, take care of yourself. Whoa, this dude dropped a lot of bombs right there. What kind of runes are these? Hmm? Oh, those are the symbols of the six elements. 
That rune stands for fire. That's clearly the symbol for air. Clearly? Uh. That symbol represents ice. Ice? That symbol stands for water. <laughs> That's probably the symbol for all. Probably? That's the symbol for Earth, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> he loses interest halfway through. Why is it so cold here? The Library of Draconia is supervised by the Ice Faculty. Writing is like ice. It freezes a moment in time. In this case, for eternity. Huh. Well, that's pretty hefty stuff. Um, I guess that'll be it for me today, though, just thinking about it. Because... Um, well, I'm running a long time. That would be why. But yeah, that'll be it for me today. So I hope everyone's enjoying so far. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Au revoir.